Hello everyone, I'm Krasia Tasio. Zori Dimitrova is here with me today. We will be talking about something very interesting which Zori understands a lot from and this is um, the manifestations of what we want to achieve but related to astrology. So hello Zori. Hi Krasi, good to uh, be again on your channel, thanks. Hello. Yes, thank you. Yes, well, uh, it, this conversation will, is something very, it's something huge because it must involve free will, it must involve what is uh, predetermined as seen through the horoscopes of people, but um, and based on what we see in the horoscopes and what we don't see and what, what we want to achieve, I will be asking you about um, how to manifest it, Zori. And of course, we'll be talking about astrology. And But say just with two words about this manifestation, because I know that you are doing a lot in relation to manifestation techniques, different, some of them you developed yourself based on existing techniques. So I'm giving the word to you entirely. You know, I was, I was first uh, getting interested in all these things together with the first way of the law of attraction movement. And from this point on, I just started researching more and more because first of all, it sounded a bit like a, a miracle and it, it really wasn't functioning that well to the level that they explained it. And there's a lot behind. And the more you dig into it, the more you find out. And I've been practicing uh, different methods for many manifestations and I've achieved a lot of things in my life using these methods. So I definitely can say that I've managed to manifest. So it's not, a, uh, it's not something that I talk about without experience, you know, just on the basis of some principles. I've actually applied these things. And now I'm teaching, maybe some of your viewers may know that I'm teaching a course called The Other 96% that mm -hmm. is mostly based on the silver method of mind control and situation control and at that time mm -hmm. or the law of attraction came out 50 years before that in 66 uh, this is when uh, jose silva started uh, using a, a manifestation as a tool but he called it uh, situation programming so this thing is not new it didn't come up with the law of attraction it exists for hundreds of years people have coined it in different ways. I believe in the, in the beginning of the century, uh, century, it was Earth Nightingale that wrote a book um, that was really like in 1909 or something like that. And I think that was the first ever book that was really nicely summarized about manifestation. But um, what I've noticed is uh, that manifestation works only if you don't tie it very closely to timing. So mm -hmm. allow it to envelop whatever you're aiming for at its own time. And this ties very nicely with astrology because you always say there is no free will or really very limited free will. And things come to us whenever there are celestial uh, placements. Could yeah, there's a thing. There's a thing that we have the horoscopes. We come with the horoscopes like it's our maybe a passport or contract or agreement that we come with and our destiny and the events are encoded there and it's very it works astrologically to predict events so you predict the marriage or non-marriage you predict children or not children you predict uh, uh, jobs and uh, you predict events that's it you just predict them you see them in the chart and you predict and very rarely they wouldn't happen but um, you say manifestation um, so from my perspective, and I have some experience already with quite some uh, horoscopes which I read and I've seen that what is seen in the horoscope is happening, it's taking place. How about these other things which are not um, visible in the horoscope? Like uh, some people would say, uh, for example, you want a um, profession which is not encoded in the horoscope which is not given and i do believe that we do have a very small tiny free will and then if we open the topic about free will we can talk i know one day mm. but how do you see this because i i still believe and i still insist that what is predetermined you see in the horoscope and it happens yeah well there are two things uh, one of them is that uh, for some people 
for things to happen for some people, they would need to take action, even if it's in their own mind. So they may have to actually learn how to manifest in order for things to happen. Even mm -hmm. this is described in the, in the horoscope. For some of them, it would happen the natural way, but then mm -hmm. the horoscope mm -hmm. would probably describe a person that is, that is rather technocratic and uh, their, the envelopment of their destiny is not so linked to um, usage of the mind. There are different kinds mm -hmm. of people. But uh, now, for some people, uh, whatever they manifest would work anyway. And you'd probably also see it in the horoscope if they're about to manifest something that is wrong, that is not on their path. You'll probably be able to see something that is being manifested but not exactly aligned with their life path right so yeah people can manifest things very often they retract so they first come about but they have a very short life and then they disappear for example you call in a relationship that is not right for you that is not what you really want because you haven't discovered inside of you haven't gotten to know yourself but by getting to know yourself you um, you expand your consciousness, you realize you're a part of the whole. So you rise in vibration. So if you just want things without, expand, without having expanded your consciousness, you tend to attract things that are very short-lived because you haven't dialed on the, on the right path. And that's why the... So it's all about vibrations. Mm -hmm. Again, vibrations. It's about vibrations, but it's not like, uh, oh, if I am constantly happy and uh, always in a good mood, I'm going to attract the things that are good for me. You may attract things and then lose them again. It's about knowing that you're walking on the right path, about expanding your consciousness, consciousness and realizing that you're only a part of the whole, you know, seeing yourself as a part of the big being. And when you realize that, even if you... Um, First of all, then your goals would be much clearer. So you wouldn't want some petty stuff that are irrelevant. Uh, mm -hmm. Right? Um, and then the manifestation will actually happen because you have purpose. You know that you're acting out of divine will. You have something that... Before going to details, because I will ask you, sorry, that you, that you give us some instructions. Before going into, into this, I also... Uh, it's, it's important to say for people who are interested in astrology that what I learned with the time, I didn't find this in books, but from my experience, I learned indeed that how exactly the planets are manifesting, what the, what ex, in what way the, the, they give their energies in the horoscope, indeed would depend on how, on the level of the consciousness, exactly like what you said. And obviously on the level of the person's consciousness, depends how far he or she will go with manifesting right so yes I, I guess that's right and this also brings gives me the question then uh when you say when you're making a reading and you say it depends whether you would use the higher vibration of this uh position of of, of, the, mm. of this placement or the lower vibration of this placement but i wonder whether people actually have a chance to choose between the higher or the lower vibration or whether this is also encoded, how somebody would... We have a chance. Yeah. Well, we do have. We do have. And this is why we came to learn this, exactly this. I think this is the purpose, the sole purpose, because you... Uh, exactly to learn... These are the, the, the lessons. This is the lessons. Whether you would choose, take as example Saturn, whether you choose the low vibrations of Saturn, which would be to be angry, to be envious if you want, to be always in a, with a grim face, or you would choose to be wise, to accept reality, to, um, to, be, to be truthful, to understand the, the laws of justice, uh, to be satisfied with the reality and not to deny it. You see, these are the two, the two levels of the manifestations of the energies of Saturn, for example. And it's a matter of choice. And uh, also to be exact or to be not punctual. This is all Saturn. All sat this Saturn and that Saturn, see? So, yes, when you see the placement of Saturn, you can already judge how the person is doing on these levels. But through knowledge, because everyone has a chance for growth, 
every soul through knowledge and understanding people can outgrow the low uh, energies of saturn which can manifest they will always manifest in one or another way they will but the, the question is that we're here to learn and already see an astrologer who would explain you how your planets manifest because this is very important and i do this every time then people know what to work on because we we came to work that's it it's a it's a planet for work so yes yeah you know that there there are two ways to grow or in a in a soul way one is through suffering and the other one is through realization that you're a part of the whole through seeing the whole exactly right and so manifestation deals with the second part especially the one that i'm teaching so it teaches seeing yourself as a part of the matrix and understanding other people other relationships seeing yourself mm. as a, um as a part of a network and you have a purpose but your purpose is also so that that everybody else is doing well your purpose is not to uh, elbow people and go ahead your purpose is to make sure that the being is fine you know you as represented by one finger on your body you want to make sure that the whole body is fine otherwise the pink the finger will have no existence so mm -hmm. uh, i suppose this is the higher manifestation of uh, of soul growth it's accessing the consciousness and realizing that you're a part of it and this is what manifestation is and this is how you can control your um your life and your environment yes minding yes. minding that you're a part of the whole and we are right we were talking with you the other day that the, the 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 soul the common soul of everyone right it's like one big piece of soul which has right what was this it was very interesting gnostic knowledge right what was the uh, what was this about remind me this was um was this from the movie initiation maybe that cindy recommended no no it was about this 144 uh, this this magical number which was representing the number of the of the of the um common soul of humanity it's like we're part of one we're just one soul which is divided into into pieces but it's always the same amount of souls actually which is here so we're one yeah this comes from kabbalah um they actually state or they answer the question how is it possible that uh that reincarnation happens where do the souls come from? If there were so few mm -hmm. people before and now suddenly there's a huge popula population, where does this population grow of souls? Mm -hmm. They have no souls. And the way Kabbalah answers it is that um, the, there is a soul weight, uh, a measurement. They don't measure it in units, but it's the unit, let, let's call it just a number. It's 600,000. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, so once, uh, you know, with, with the progression of each reincarnation, when more and more people are being born, this overall soul, which is not the earth's soul, this is the soul of, you know, all the particles in the universe of the being, this is the weight of the being. So it's mm -hmm. multiplying and multiplying and multiplying. So this means that it's breaking in smaller and smaller pieces in order to, uh, view itself from different viewpoints to understand reality so people uh the fact that there are more people on earth now just means that there are smaller pieces of the bigger soul they carry a smaller particle of the bigger soul mm -hmm. yeah. but the whole thing is just to once again confirm that we are one and we need to come and start from from this perspective that we are one and that we need to live with this consciousness right so so that we can manifest yes uh, the, the reason why manifestation doesn't work is that very often it comes from ego this is what the law of attraction doesn't tell you it tells you you can manifest whatever you want you can call in money you can call in luxurious things in your life but when you manifest from ego this is only temporary and things are taken from other parts of your life because you're not giving this is when you're only receiving and at some point mm. uh, uh and uh, sorry yeah and at some point um this will need to be compensated so the fact that you're receiving but you're not giving something so something else will be taken away from you mm. and, and therefore the manifestation that is 
healthy to practice and aligned with everything in the universe is the manifestation where you also give. And you can give in terms of positive emotions, in terms of wishing somebody well or choosing uh, their well-being. Uh, that does mean choosing their well-being on behalf of yours, but seeing mm -hmm. them also happy with your goal, you know? It's a, give it's us example, sorry, how you practice. Sorry, yeah. It's going yes, to give us pain in this short uh, video because I make a, a whole course on that. Um, we will put the links under this video. People who are interested, I followed your course, and it is really amazing. Let's see if it will work in the long term. It looks like it will, as I hear from from other people who also. Uh, followed the same course, but we'll, we'll put links under this video, but please give us example on how it works. Just uh, just a small lead us through the process briefly. I know it's not just in two yeah. words. It's like it can be said, but just to um, To give us hope. Uh, I know it. I've been to your course, but just to make it clear to, to more people uh, That actually when you it's angelic first you forgot to say something important. It's angelic Method. It comes from angels, right? It's not. Um, and then, when, give us just lead us through the process briefly. Well, it, it's angelic. Uh, uh, it's it's not defined as angelic, but the Jose Silva, who uh, who designed this uh, system first, he said he received it in a dream from something that he calls an angel. So from a well, so yeah, so we can say so, yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, then he developed it with practical research. So. It's it's a long story, you know what what came first and where does the truth mm -hmm. lie? But there was definitely some divine intervention for him to download this information. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you a, just a brief summarized version of the tool of one of the tools, the most common. Yes, the, because the, I know it works. It, it it serves many purposes. It's it works for healing. It works for just give us the manif manifestation brief explanation how it works. Um, so whenever you're manifesting so in the, in the silver method, I'm, I practice manifestation. The tool from the, that I teach is from the silver method. So, um, the way it works is that first you imagine in front of you, the situation that you're in right now, then to the left, you imagine the situation where you want to be in, but while you're doing that, you have to involve all your feelings, all your sensations and imagery because the subconscious mind where you can mold reality works with imagery and with emotion. This is how you can reshuffle things. This is how you can raise your vibration. This is how you can delete traumas. This is how you can improve self-confidence and so on and so on. So the way to work for with manifestation with the matrix in general is always through imagery and emotions so the more emotions the more you're into the picture the more you open up and how you go into the picture um, so before you start with the whole process you go in alpha level alpha level in general is just a very deep relaxation just before you go to sleep i i will not now explain no 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 i said just very briefly to give us idea no you don't need to go into details so you need to be very relaxed before you start doing it then in front of you you imagine the current situation to the left of you you imagine the situation of the the picture where you want to find yourself in so the manifested reality then you engage other people that would benefit from your solution and then you start invoking feelings, you know, sending them love, sending them blessings, seeing, seeing them happy. And this represents the giving, what you're giving to the picture, you know, experiencing these emotions and seeing them happy. You know, you're giving happiness to somebody else. Once you have this picture, you move it in front of you from the left to the center and your current situation, you move from the center to the right, which represents the past. And that's it. Zori, important thing I want to say is you mentioned before that it doesn't ever work with negative malefic purposes. It's very important to say it works only for good, for, for, to help the, 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 um, the, the consciousness, to help everyone. It's always for good. It's never ever harming anyone. This is very important. If you, if you try, it wouldn't work, right? In this way. 
it wouldn't work because the matrix works on the basis of love. This is what created the reality in the first place. And the matrix is God. So once you access the matrix, you need to be on this level of vibration. So you need to be filled with love and wish the best for anybody. The moment you start having negative feelings of revenge or of, you know, just bad thoughts about somebody, you will go out of alpha level. So you won't be able to see anything and to access this reality. Oh, okay. So let's say, let's go back to, back to astrology. Mm -hmm. So we see situation when the person is, uh, there is some, uh, some, something that he's missing in the horoscope, he or she and want to achieve it. Mm -hmm. So receiving this information, uh, he or she would understand that only through um, love, good, like what is God is love, God is good, right? You, you can get into this state of manifesting, but only and only if you um, vibrate really on the high level of consciousness. You, you cannot do it if you wish tomorrow to buy this and that car or only because you, you just want to to do this for your ego it, it has to do good also for the others for the com community for your for the people which surround you right so this is important for um, this method, clarification yeah. otherwise uh, there are lots of other tools that you can use to manifest short-term goals but as i said these would be one time and then maybe they'll disappear when you do it out of ego oh sorry you know what we say in bulgaria and you know it um, but the master pain Saduno is saying, if you want short result, uh, get, um, you know, if you want short, short result, get pumpkin. If you want, if you have patience, you want a good result, you're going to get an oak, right? Uh -huh. No, I didn't know this one. <laughs> so you, if you want fast result, pumpkin, you will get, right? It, it grows in one month. But if you really want something that will stay valuable in your life and that will, others will also benefit from you need an oak, then you need patience. Yeah, and, and also uh, it doesn't mean that, um, that you're not getting results fast, but it depends what you want. You may, if you dial in correctly on the right goal that is aligned with your soul purpose and aligned with the principles of existence, the principles of the being which are based on love, then you can get immediate results. Within Absolutely. or even the next day. Well, Zori, this was very interesting, and I think we can close here because, um, not to dilute it, it's so good. I would, I would rather leave it here. And it, it, thank you so much. People who really like to, to follow your class, I did, and I really recommend it. It was amazing. And it's, we, we were in, in small groups and it, it's just very nice. So all your details will be, but people, people who are following my channel know you because this is not our first uh, conversation. So uh, yes, I highly recommend it. This was amazing. And it, it serves for healing, um, diagnosing health conditions, which, which works it, for this. I was very attracted to this for the diagnosing of health conditions because I do this astrologically. I am very uh, attracted to the medical astrology. And I was thinking that even this, if you add to medical astrology, it becomes miraculous um, uh, tool for diagnosing people and help them really. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's, it's for diagnosing, manifesting. What else was it? In this, we had five, um, Main, uh, for healing, for deep learning, you can do psychometry. Ah, yeah. You know, find lost objects. You can get information that, or uh, get in contact with your intuition, with your counsel. You can you can get um, better decision making in general in your life. No. Ah, learning. Uh, say as here you said that um, Jose Silva, his son, had uh, studying deficiencies, and this is why he developed the method. To help him, right? To improve his skills. His daughter, she's now the president of the Silva Foundation. So she des definitely doesn't have any learning. Could. Oh, it was his daughter. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Zori. Thank you. Thank you. And see you soon again. Thank you, Krasi. Thanks.